welcome back to Pokemon Violet. In today's episode, we're taking on the Rockpa Squad of Team Star. And it's... So how y'all doing this today? Uh, so today at the time of recording this, uh, they announced a new Pokemon Presents. Uh, hopefully they're going to be announcing the DLC for, for this game, because... Well... I mean, look at this part of the map. Uh, right here. It's all grayed off, like... It's all grayed off, like, uh... Oh, what? It's all grayed off, like... Like the Great Crater is, so... That means there, there's gotta be more there, I mean... What's in that empty space? Well, who knows what's going to be there? Could be a new main series game. I mean, so soon after this, but... But, enough about that. Today, we're going... To take on... The Rukba Squad. We're taking the back route. We're we taking the back route to this game. Oh, there we are. Oh yeah. We're gonna glide our way down. Woohoo! You know, you're probably wondering why uh, Miraidon doesn't um fly like uh doesn't fly like it did in the beginning. My theory is, like, I think it's our weight that's holding it down, that's preventing from doing that or something. I don't know, but... Down we go again! Here we go, down the slope. And here we are. to where we're going. Oh crap. No, go away. So we're going up against the uh, Rukba squad, which is the fairy type squad of uh, Team Star. We're not here. I oh, I think we're down here. I think. No, I think we're we're not there yet. See, I thought I knew this region. But I'm seeing a part of the region I haven't seen before. It's Scarlet, at least. So this is a new experience. That's... Is that Bramble's evolution or? Ah, oh, crud. No, because that hole can be found a while. Freaking go go! Why don't you go go away? Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Unless, hold on, can I make it? No, 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 I won't. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going down. No. Now, where am I? Oh, 
was in the wrong direction. Holy smokes. Ah, darn it. Completely wrong direction. <laughs> oh, boy. I can find my bearing. The way down is that way. to do in real life. Plonk. Hello. Boo! This guy sucks. against fairy types. But I'm gonna need more. A lot more. Only temporary electric. Back, I trained up uh, Golfin now swallow it. Uh oh, got too close. Oh, it's Clive. Logan, up for stuff was good. Well, would you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience is a bit an hour, but to say the least, I'm glad I could at least take part. But I'm curious, Logan. What do you think of Cassiopeia? They're a bag of riddles. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment toward Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall, baby. What could it be? Well, I'd best get back to keep a watch. Call for me if you decide to change the... Oh, take on the base, okay? Okay. So we're nearing the Rukpa squad. Uh, skip this one uh, artist, I think. Hold on. There she is, uh, about to battle you. Battle Such beauty. This beauty only marred by the ugly pile of junk. I can't take it. Look at her eyes. It's, it's crazy, I think. Smack, smack, skitter, smack. Damn it. You dang it. I see the one who's crying. You're the one who died by attack, you crazy bug. Crazy bug. Yeah. Smack. Yeah. Okay. Don't avoid the attack. It's Not very effective. Ah, 
Ah, good ability then. But too late. You're gone. You're gone. I'm sorry, I guess you have to hear my frustration on you. Ah, that's alright. You stunk. I won anyway. So long as you start base, I guess it'll take a lot of effort of building it. Whoops, wrong box. There you go, all healed up. Let's see, uh, do I have anything, any TM that can, that, that are good against, that are good against, uh, Psychic types. I mean, I mean fairy types. We're valiant fairies, not poison jab. I think that'll suit you better since you're a physical attacker. I'll return later when it is time for the young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Y yes Mr. Harrington. Hmm? Hmm? And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Young master? Ah, I see. Since you've seen it unaware, how about to inform you that this is the base of the Team Star of Team Star's ferry crew, the Ruckbus Squad, led by young Master Ortega. Ma, uh, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to give me giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours, you know. I think he might be here to try to take us on. Oh, understood in that case. I take it you're an adversary of the young master. I guess that follows? Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me for a quick battle? Sure. Splendid. Let us begin. Oh, I love how the team stars. Battle themes plagued it for this guy as well. Alright. Smashy, smashy time! Oh, 
psychic type counteract, yeah? Probably should have known that, to be honest. Well, this will be super effective. I know it will. Yeah! Ha <laughs> you lose. Ah, outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Mas Ortega's paddle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You'd do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me, hasta, hasta la vista. That gentlemanly guy used to be the, the director of the, the academy, I think. Well, at least that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I just gotta go let everyone know. Hasta la vista! <laughs> I like. I like the Team Star Grunt, sir. <laughs> I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. This base belongs to the Team Star's ferry crew, the Ruckbus Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. Also, uh, he's also a real lead for the back type. He lets his grunts do the dirty work for him. His, but his weak point is, sh is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, he'll march right out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up. Go from there. Ring the bell of the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Try to wipe the Ruckbus squad off the map. Uh, gee, I wonder who this mysterious Cassiopeia is. Could be any... Okay. Just gotta make... Make sure my team's up to snuff. It is. Time to ring a ding ding the bell, and you should too. And subscribe. Yep. Ding ding ding. Ready to go. <laughs> Code Red! Code Red! Operation Starfall Alert! And everyone, get into position and defend the boss with all you got! And rest assured, intruder, we'll deal with deal- uh, Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that! Alright! 3, 2, 1, go! Take them all out! 
Five more to go. It's all up to the boss now! Oh, here it comes, Ortega! Ooh, nice flag! Ooh, he looks styling! Boss of Team Star Spade Crew, Ortega! Huh, so you're Logan. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. All right, Willy Wonka, let's see what you got. I promise I'll play nice, but don't blame me when this battle will send you blubbering back home.
miss. Who says you can miss? I didn't tell you you can miss. An action is head. That means it means business. Tons better in business, you better look out. He's so upset. He is. I just... I... Uh, ugh! How could I lose? What the heck? <laughs> you lost because you stink. Well, half a year ago. Ugh! 
What the heck? Your toy car wouldn't budge an inch, huh? I told you it's not a toy! It's called a Stormobile, and I was up all night building it! The problem is clear we're, we're not giving it enough juice. You guys seem to be powered by two charcoal net, but it's just too heavy. What? Well, such a shame! I wanted to see the looks on our bullies with faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow, tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraction on by thine own hand? Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that all the effort would have zero payout, I'd have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You, do, you say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mella, cool it, would ya? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? Uh, if that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm gonna train up my Tarkinet and have him evolve. Their boots and firepower will give the Starmobile moving no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! <sighs> you know, Melly shoots her off and up, mouth off a lot, off a lot, but... She means it well. I know. God, this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing. But I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses were de are defeated, that means you have to step down. And I'm going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. God, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway, so... Take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. <laughs> I like Ortega. Awkward handshake. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling gleam. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like the most annoying person ever. But I get it, you're super strong. I'll make that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega? Mr. Harrington! I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to be head on home. <coughs> Actually, a different mode has been brought to me. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clav. Okay. What's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company, so why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else on the team. It's because it was being bullied. So the Academy really did use to have an issue with bullying. Oh. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As former director of the academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Ha Mr. Harrington! About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. And an altercation broke out between the two groups. Though it did not escalate to a major incident, incident the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of, he of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy, one after another. But, but there aren't any regular that here in the academy. No, I would imagine not. My former deputy and 
deleted all the records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how to best deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. This student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No one told me that! I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I signed 18 months of overseas study to the student who res took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad. This was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims after all. I wanted that t this student to take some time to rest. So I had them return home to the gallery region under the pretext of overseas study. But at that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. It appears the intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That, that's terrible! After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame and lay my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing their notices. Well, that's why the current teachers are all bought in half a year ago. I understand my actions may have caused you a great deal of trouble. My sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Arrington. How can we suddenly decide to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to see you give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Scott must meet a very great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, I'm my greatest treasure in the whole world. And we're done, 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 done. Logan, it's me. I took it from that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then. Yep. I see. With this boss no longer around, the Rock Bus Squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost out. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Logan. And Clive has performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that you're acquainted. Have you known each other long? Yeah, for a while now. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds you of the gang back in the day. Back in what day? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. Though you could hardly call it a contest, the bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from the battle the first chance they got. The Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school, one after another, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But it's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your to your phone, as promised. Free crypto. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining bosses. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give your your bonus reward. And here she is. Uh, here I am. 
Hello, best friend. Ah, uh, stay your Pokeball for once, will you? But I like you. You're my friend. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in, in everyone else's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. Even if one of them had been paying to attention, if just one of them had been paying attention to everyone and everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot, creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. You really think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Logan. And that is all for today. In the next episode, we'll be taking on the... The False Dragon Titan. So, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.